Now let's add some texture for the main sash here. So the sash is going to be on the body. And so I'm going to turn off, go to the body and then turn off the gold and the wood and the padding so we can see what is happening. And so this is the part that we want to finish. And so that's, I think it's one of the last pieces. We've also got a gold band here that we can uh, add, but let's concentrate on the sash. So we've got the jumpsuit group, the bone and skin base. So let's now add a new fill layer to the top. And this is going to be the color for the sash. And so let's add a base color and I'm going to make mine kind of the same blue. And so I'll just drop this in for now and we can change this in a second. Let's mask off everything, but this sash and we've got it separated on its own UV shell. So that's going to help us greatly. So let's go ahead and add a black mask and let's go to our polygon fill and let's choose UV shell and we'll go ahead and add that. And so you can see that there. Now let's make the color kind of the same as this trim color. And so we'll go into base color, choose our eyedropper and let's just choose that color. All right. And then let's come down to the roughness and let's kind of increase our roughness a little bit. Let's turn up our metallic. So it's got more of a satin look. All right. So we'll get it something like that. Now we want to have a pattern on this, but I want the pattern to actually drive the roughness so that it's uh, maybe well, this is a little bit rougher and then the pattern is a little bit shinier maybe or glossier. And so we need to have the pattern and then we need to know where to put the pattern. So we could add another layer or we can also drop the, instead of choosing the roughness from the slider, we can drop the pattern into the roughness. So let's go to procedurals and I'm just going to choose one of these procedurals in here and feel free to choose whatever one that you like just one of these repeating patterns. I think I'm going to choose this fabric half circle, the circle half, and I'll go ahead and click it and drag it into the roughness. All right. So let's go ahead and go into the parameters of that. Let's increase the tiling. And so you can see that it is working and I'm going to increase this to maybe 32. Let's actually take this down a little bit. 20, let's say we can also change the border width which will make those thicker or thinner. All right. But you can see that right now, because this is a black and white image, we've got really, really glossy and really, really rough. And so what we need to do is sort of dial those in based on those extremes. So to do that, we will go ahead on this layer, add a levels, and we're going to choose roughness to what we want to change. And then we have a black and white here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this black and dial this up to the level that we want for this part. So it's probably going to be something like that. Maybe actually probably maybe a little bit more. And then we'll bring this one a little bit closer and grab it a little bit closer to the other one. Okay. We just want to be able to see it, but instead of driving the color, it's driving the roughness. Now we can go back in and repeat that maybe a little bit more so we can see it across the surface and that levels will give us that kind of adjustment so that we can really dial in what the white is driving and what the black is driving in terms of the roughness values. So you can use those procedurals, not just in color, but in any of these channels and they will drive those, but you may have to add some adjustments like this levels to get the actual values the way that you want. If we want to try to emphasize the grooves here, we can also bring in another layer. We'll add another fill layer to the top and let's go ahead and turn all these off except color. And then in the color, I'm going to go ahead and click on curvature and let's bring in the body curvature map. All right. And then I want to mask this off only affect this part. And then let's do an overlay and then I'll dial in this visibility a little bit more and just kind of darkens up the inner parts there. All right. We can turn our the rest of our pieces back on. So we get a nice pattern on that wraparound sash. 
And if you don't want it to be the exact same color, you know, we still have the flexible workflow in the way that we can just come in here and really quickly modify that color so that it's a little bit different. So we can maybe make it a little bit lighter. We could adjust the hue a little bit and make it more you know, one way or the other. So it's not exact. And we're able to make all of those changes before we actually export any of these textures. So it's a really nice way to work. So once we've got our main sash uh, textured, let's go ahead and add some texture to this. And this is just flat pieces of geometry, but I want to add some sort of wrinkles to this and make it look a little bit nicer than this, this flat piece. So we'll do that next.